today we're taking a look at the Wavelink BE8800 Wi-Fi 7 PCI Express wireless card. Thanks to Wavelink for sponsoring this video and sending over the network card for us to take a look at. This Wi-Fi 7 card is using the latest BE200 Intel chipset, enabling tri-band communications. Basically, we're adding the 6 GHz radio to the already existing 2.4 and 5 GHz radios, and that'll actually help give us some blazing fast wireless connectivity. You can get up to 574 megabits per second on the 2.4 GHz band, up to 2,400 megabits per second on the 5 GHz band, and up to a crazy 5,800 megabits per second in using the 6 GHz band. With the huge improvement on the 6 GHz band, you won't have any issues with streaming media, gaming, transferring files, pretty much anything. Wavelink says that the increased 320 MHz transfer rate and the 4K QAM modulation improvements are really what enable the magic behind the Wi-Fi 7 speeds. Obviously, you're still limited by your connection to your router or your access point and its LAN port and your ISP internet speed, but oftentimes we are limited by our Wi-Fi card's capability in our desktop or our laptop to connect to that router. This Wi-Fi 7 add-in card is also supporting Bluetooth, version 5.4 by the way. We're definitely getting some good Bluetooth performance here, and everything is still pretty much all wrapped up in this efficient chipset. It's not going to use a ton of power, and it combines both of these functions into one PCI Express card. The BE8800 also supports WPA3, which is good to see for securing your Wi-Fi networks. With each generational improvement on the Wi-Fi standard, we're getting better and better throughputs at the same distances, and sometimes even farther distances, and a lot of times at the same level of environmental interference. The 6 GHz band that's been added on here is definitely improvement over the standard Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 6E 5 GHz bands in most scenarios. You definitely want to make sure if you're buying a card like this that you do have at least a Wi-Fi 6 router or wireless access point, if not a Wi-Fi 7 version. That'll really enable the blazing fast transfer speeds. As for the installation of this Wi-Fi card, it was relatively simple. All I had to do was really remove the slot cover for the PCI Express slot in my computer, and then get this card slotted into place. Obviously, the antennas are external to the card and the computer. Basically, you're just screwing on these connections. Just thumb tight is fine, and you're pretty much set with the installation. The bottom of the antenna does have this nice grippy material on it, and it is magnetic too, so you can stick it on top of your PC case. That's what I did, and it turned out to be a very good spot for optimal signal. As for getting the card set up and installed inside of Windows, my computer actually was able to find the driver right away with Windows Update, and that is an awesome experience. You don't want to have to go hunting for drivers, though it is hosted if you do need it from Wavelink or Intel. After I removed my wired Ethernet connection, I was able to connect to the wireless network, and I found through testing, I was actually able to max out the gigabit connection on my Wi-Fi 6 wireless router, which is actually really good. The card was connecting to the router at about 1200 to 1400 megabits per second, which is actually even better than my older Wi-Fi AX or wireless 6 card. Considering the distance and all the stuff that's in between my PC and my wireless router, I really thought this was quite a good connection speed. And it's actually still faster than gigabit, and there's no wires, which is really just awesome. Like I said before, we do have Bluetooth 5.4, so I did give that a test with my Creative Zen Hybrid SX FI headset, and I'm happy to report that I was able to walk about 25, maybe 30 feet away from my computer, and my headset still stayed connected over Bluetooth. Considering that we're getting some pretty fast Wi-Fi and really good Bluetooth connectivity, kind of a handy product to have in your desktop computer. I would definitely say if you have an older motherboard, something before the latest gen AMD and Intel boards, and you kind of want to upgrade to get Wi-Fi, or you just can't be attached to an Ethernet cable since you can't run it to wherever your computer is located, I would definitely take a look at the BE8800 from Wavelink. I definitely think this is a good value option if you need Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. I'll have an affiliate link in the description below if you want to check this out or pick one of these up for your gaming PC. 
If you got any value out of this video, I would definitely appreciate it if you dropped a like on the video. That lets YouTube know to recommend this video to other people who are researching Wi-Fi 7 upgrades. If you're into PC gaming and home lab stuff like this, get subscribed to the channel and then ring that bell for notifications. Until next time, keep on gaming.